Hi guys, so about two days ago I got another Crafters Companion box and I'm like, what is this? And it kind of freaked me out because I just recently got an email from them from like all the packages that I ordered or all the orders that I placed and they came in on the same day within a couple hours of each other and I've already obviously even received this stuff and hauled it so I'm like, what is this? So I thought maybe they did a duplicate order, like this literally arrived later that day. But no, it's some stuff I totally forgot that I had ordered. <laughs> and I was like, was I drinking? No, I wasn't drinking. I don't, you know, drink when um, I'm by myself because it's just me and the kids right now that Matt's not here so like I wasn't having too much wine that I would forget ordering something I'm like maybe I was just tired but now I remember when I, I was looking I'm like what is this I remember the tape I'm like oh that's right she was having some kind of sale it was one of these things where Sarah's on there doing god knows what and then I decided to buy this stuff and it was just really just a bunch of sales is what it was that night so what I thought was cool I was like oh because I wasn't even going to do this it's just like tape and other things is that there's a goodie bag in here supposedly or uh What's it called? Not a goodie bag, but... Yeah, like a blind bag. Like, you don't know what's in here. And it was 25 bucks, but with my discount and everything, I think I paid just over 20 bucks for it. So that's cool. So I'm going to open all this up. Um, I'm going to reset my tripod for you guys. So, you know, just, you know, watching some shaky video. And then I also have some stuff in the Dollar Tree I just picked up that's so cute. So, um... Let's okay. just get started. So make sure to watch the review video I did on those, uh, Glimmer... Cosmic... Shimmer gilding flakes if you haven't seen it because they're really fun but I still have the stuff sitting here because I'm right on top of it guys okay so let's see I don't know there's a lot of packages in here I know I only ordered one of the blind bags and then they also had something called like like some kind of deal on their um edgeable dies or something I can't remember creative card ones but like I already have several of those right so the ones they had on like it was 10 bucks and you get two of them but like I already had two or three of them so I didn't want to buy that even though at 10 bucks if I already had one that's still a good deal um so I'm not sure what's in here like I said um you know she showed a cute little purple bag that said Crafters Companion but I had a feeling it was just gonna come in something like this so I'm not sure what this is um okay now that I see it they had a really good deal on the aqua tints and it was basically I think 40 bucks maybe just under 40 bucks for all of these so which is basically six sets one two three seven sets that's right so they were running two different deals that day like you can buy two for some amount or all seven for like even less than if you bought two of the other sets you know what I'm saying like it was just it worked out that way so basically you got the seventh one free plus it was like a better deal I don't know and then I get that discount so I got pretty much not all their aqua tints they have other ones but I do really like these these are fun so I was like you know what might as well get them since I'm stocking up right now in all the different colors I have all their stamp colors and everything that's basically the same so might as well get them all and they're so pretty look at this one's really soft and she did of course a bunch of things using them that when you see it and you're like oh I have to get that you know <laughs> so there's metallic ones here um Glitz and Glamour, Perfect Pastel, Shades of Spring, Winter Warmers, Falling Leaves, and Summertime. So, I mean, it's basically all the different colors you would want to have. Um, I'm going to put these over here. Let me see what else. Okay, so I think the glue runners are... They basically ended up being just over 3 bucks each with my discount plus the sale that they were doing. So, I went ahead and grabbed them because I've never tried theirs. And they're really cute. They're purple. Why not? Um, really nice and thick on the base. Let me see. You know... Oh. Could have done that a little better. Um, like, let's say we have this one, Ad Tech. The Tombow is very similar. Is this it over here? Yeah, so here's my Tombow. See how it's thin? You know, say not super thick. This has a thicker base, so I guess if you want to put it down like this, you can leave it standing up. Do they all do that? Let's see. Oh, okay. This one does it too. Not as easily, but it does it. And then the Ad Tech one doesn't because it has a weird little thing there but you can do it the other way <laughs> so I just wanted to see that I'm like I've never seen that the bottom with that little rocking motion I don't know if you can see how it's thicker cute and this is the dot pattern and then two um, two dot patterns and two of the um, complete uh, strip I don't know <laughs> so I put those to the side what else do we have here uh, let's see I didn't even look at the invoice, so... Actually, which reminds me, I need to look at some other invoices. Because I know one of the items I had got before, it said they shipped two of the three. And I didn't realize they were all three there. Was it still just two of three? Or whatever. I did order another one of their glue sets, that's right. Because, um, I just like their glues. And I figured, why not? Because whenever they're on sale, 
I do that. And this one was a little bit different. So this one did, it was just like a regular, I think they call it flat glue kit or something. So it actually has the red liner tape, which I've never tried. So I didn't want to get that. And the three millimeter and the six millimeter, and then your call all glue, your tacky glue, and then the fine tip glue um, bottles that help you, like if you want to do some fine lining with it or whatever, you can do that, put some glitter on it. It's all good. I'm gonna save the goodie bag thing till the end. Not till the end, but like after I'm done showing you the same stuff from Scarface Companion. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I remember I had mentioned I already had this and I had ordered it. So yeah, I, I guess I remembered ordering it right after I placed my order, but um, this one is one I do not have. I think together they were like $8. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'm gonna buy it. But I do already have this one. So this one, I already put one of them in the uh, giveaway set that I have over there ready or getting a giveaway set together for a giveaway here on my channel. Um, and then these papers were basically a great price and then she included this pack for free basically. So this is a Metallics A4 size paper. It's a Centura Pearl paper and I don't know if this one was double sided. It doesn't look like it because looking at the back of this it looks like matte. But anyway it has all the golds and bronzes and different metallic colors in here. And that is uh, 80 sheets and that was free plus the Centura Pearl card and the um, what she calls like Christmas colors basically um, it's just an assortment they selected it might be some of things that maybe don't sell as well I don't know they just put it together so it's like a lavender if you can see that there's a white which is beautiful um, this kind of shimmery gold a really pretty pink a gorgeous kind of yellow not quite gold a peachy kind of pink and then those are the Christmas colors that she was considering, this beautiful kind of cranberry and then the green. Really a lot of paper and I think it was just over 20 bucks, maybe. Um, okay, the last thing. So this is the, I guess the blind bag or whatever. Let's see what's in here. Packaged so beautifully, no, I'm just kidding. She had a little bag, she's like, ooh, you never know. And I'm like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep this to the side just so, cause I can see it already pretty much all together right now. All right, right on top. That's kind of cute the way they stacked it up. Um, I don't have this one, so that's good. It's the Floral Fantasy Collection uh, Blooming Sentiments. Really cute. Let me get a little bit closer. Cute little flower stamps. You know, this is their acrylic stamp set. Um, has a little border handmade by just for you thanks best wishes and this is something like to be honest I would just keep like sitting on my desk here because those are kind of things that uh, or my table that I would use kind of more often I don't you know I might have these I'm at the look because I do have some of her rustic wedding stuff but I don't think I have the whole kit so this is the word faith and the word hope but if I already have faith and hope I will give these away Oh, cute. Um, I know I have her Parisian collection. I don't remember if I have the big collection. You guys can remind me. Actually, I can see it over there, um, sitting over there. So <laughs> I haven't quite put it away yet. Um, if I already have these stamps, I'll also include these in our giveaway. I'm not sure that I do. I feel like I did get the big set for her Parisian, right? But it's cute, little like kind of stamps, stamp set. Um, next one up. Okay, I know for sure I'm going to give this one away. I have this because I, I remember I read it funny and I told myself, why did I Raymond de Soleil? I'm like, I said that wrong. I read it wrong. <laughs> but anyway, it has Bienvenue, C'est la vie, Joyeux anniversaire, and Pour toi. I don't know if it has anything on the top. Je t'aime and merci. So it's a good little set. I'm going to put it to the side over here with the giveaway things. This one's called Cute Christmas. It's Santa's little helper. <laughs> that is adorable. It's just a little... Um, like clothing set or whatever kind of accents for Christmas stuff and I do not have this at all I've never even seen something like this and I wonder is it something that actually you can put on maybe they have a basic doll I wonder cute oh a 3d um Parisian collection uh embossing folder guys if I don't have this it might be included I think I'm trying to look over there I don't see anything that looks like this packaging but anyway um, keep an eye out for that. Oh yeah, this is all like Paris collection stuff, which I, I have. I have this for sure. I know I have this one because I remember seeing the Eiffel Tower. So that'll go. And then the Je um, little bench and little poodle and grass cut. And it's kind of small. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cute. So these two will be in the giveaway. I know for sure I had those. I just don't remember this embossing folder, which I'm sure was in there because that's just how it is. Do you guys remember if this was in there? I don't know. So bun or bun, 
and I always forget which one. I think this is the one that we pronounce the N more. Bun, bone. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's a reason why you use the one N and E or just N because it's for, like for a female. I don't want to say adjectives, but um, what's the word? Article, right? In the female or male. So, as you can see here, bon jeune or bon voyage. So that might be in there because I'm pretty sure that came in the kit. Um, another one, ooh la la, with the blackout and the letters. Again, if I already have this, this will go too. And, okay, floral fantasy. Apparently I never got floral fantasy, which just looks really pretty, but she says sometimes there's some things that are, you know, specific and then they don't make it again. But a lot of purples in this, very pretty little paper pad. I do not have. And, oh, okay, so this... I think I bought this before um, just because I wanted it and I, I love this stuff so I'm going to definitely keep this one. But the luxury linen card, so it's not the metallic card, but it's just like uh, coordination, like that kind of card that has like that linen kind of like little lines in it. I, coordinations is a little bit different, but do you know what I'm saying? That old school kind of paper, it came out and people loved it because, oh, it has like texture to it. I don't know, you can't see the texture, but just like little, little... Um, linen look yeah so okay so that was the goodie bag I don't know if I'll ever order another one I mean it's good if you haven't really bought a lot of crafting companion stuff I think this is a good thing to do because this is literally a lot of stuff but um, since I have and I always buy their kits like the complete thing I you know this isn't like woo, you know something to write home about for me but again if you're new to it I would definitely get in on some of their goodie bags why not um, okay, let me grab the stuff from the dollar store and I'll grab it. Okay, so I stopped by the Dollar Tree literally because I ordered Thai food and <laughs> they're in the same uh, block, like right near each other, and I had to wait 20 minutes for the Thai food to be ready. So, um, so I really love this restaurant because I, I mean they make everything as you order it, but uh, you know it gets me in trouble sometimes. So I walked in and I'm like, oh, they had some still some summer stuff, but they have all kinds of harvest you know fall stuff out and then um halloween not so much which is kind of funny they had one aisle of halloween but a lot more fall and i'm like okay so it'll come but um i thought this was pretty cute for a buck fifty or a buck a buck fifty it's not daiso it's a dollar tree uh welcome to our patch it says it has a really nice long wooden um stake i thought that's really cute so i'm gonna put that of course in my garden and then they have these little cuties um, I think they had three or four different styles, but of course the hummingbird, I always have to get the little hummingbird, a little metal, um, just a little metal steak, and a little butterfly one, and it has a nice little steak, so it's going to be a little bit short, but I think it's really cute, I'll put them in a pot or two, a couple of pots, and then um, I, I told myself I wasn't really going to buy anything, I'm just going to look around, but of course they had a ton of like cute little pumpkins, they have these in like three or four different colors, I went with these, and I figure I'm going to put those on my table or something. Um, and then I picked out, or probably the table, because I think those are cuter, um, uh, something shimmery. These little guys, look how cute these are. I don't even know what this is made out of, to be honest. Maybe it's a little bit ceramic-y feeling. But, um, so they had this taller one, the little pumpkin, and then they had it in a white. And I guess with this one, they kind of could have put a little kind of gold on it, right? Just like they did with these. But they didn't. Um, but I think they look really cute together. So I grabbed those three, and I'll put them on my mantle or somewhere, right? So, a little decoration. And then they have these that look like blown glass, and it's not. I mean, it's like that ceramic, same kind of, you know, cheaper stuff. But doesn't that look like blown glass? I mean, it really does, If you, especially if someone's not looking at it super close. Look at this one. So I was like, oh, I have to get these. So, um, I love stuff like this. Little decorations. Um, what else did they have that's interesting? Oh, new, like, back-to-school socks. Of course, those are for, like, younger people, but um, I already had to grab some for myself. Little donuts. <laughs> Um, the little unicorn, these are kind of more higher, these are little short low cut socks, and then these little panda ones which is so funny. Um, they had some new, again with all that same stuff because it's back to school stuff, they had um, a lot of new like hair items, so for Miranda I got this little bright kind of purple bow, and then this little iridescent one, and then for myself I got some hair pulls but I'm like should I get this because I have thick hair or should I get this one because it's smaller and I usually get the smaller one anyway so I grabbed both of them because I would try them out the extra thick pony and then um just regular kind of thinner elastics it says for thin hair but I don't know that's usually the size I buy um what else yeah it's in you know sidewalk chalk from Miranda stuff like that I just picked up real quick oh along with the lights I grabbed one set of each mostly to show you guys I don't know because I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them yet 
But look how cute the little light up lights with the little bats. Hopefully you can tell. Let me see if there's a picture. No. So the little bats there. And on their display they had them out so you can see kind of what it looks like. The little um, skeletons. And these run on batteries so you just pop it on. It has a little battery pack. And um, you go from there and then the little jack-o'-lanterns. Super cute. I mean you guys for a buck. And you know on AliExpress they sell stuff like this so that's... Um, but they work. Uh, here. Oh, this is for the kids, mostly for Miranda. She likes like little, little stickers. Those were adorable. Make a little craft and then little eyeballs that are like different colors. Um, oh, more little picks. These were two in the pack for a dollar. Super cute. Again, for my pots, I'll probably put those out in the front. Actually, what were we in August? Should I wait till the end of August? I don't see why not. I mean, I'll put them out there right now. <laughs> And then these little guys, and I was like, does this work? So they have a little tab you can pull to see if it works. But look how cute, and they have like four or five different designs of this. So like this one has the haunted house, this one has a little witch. I think they have several other ones, but I don't know if, I just turned it on. Let me turn off my light, but it's pretty bright in here already and see if you can notice. Did it look? Uh, I can see that the light is on in there. I know it's hard to tell in, <laughs> on the video if I can't see it at all, but it does come on, so really cute and it just says on and off I don't think it's uh, solar yeah I don't see anything solar on there but it works sorry can't tell and let's see here oh along with the decor stuff it's like the lady when she packed this back she just kind of threw it on here I picked up two of these so I'm gonna put one in the giveaway it's metal words and the words are thankful harvest and welcome and I just thought they're really nice kind of like galvanized steel looking words and I thought they were kind of scrapbooky so let me put this over here I didn't do that giveaway, guys. Sorry. I was just kind of waiting for things to come in. Um, and then these little guys. Miranda loves painting these, and she makes a mess of it. Obviously, she just <laughs> paints it, like, ridiculous. So I like the colors it came with. I'm like, how are you going to have Frankenstein, but still with orange, purple, and black? <laughs> like, okay. And then I got the little words for myself there. Oh, and this little headband. I have a headband that looks almost like this. Um... It's a hat though, it has like a little Mad Hatter tiny hat. And it's like purple and it has stuff just like this. And every year I would wear it since Doran was little. And then I remember one year I went to school, the kids made these little googly puff ball spiders. And I put that one on my hat. And then the kids were all like, oh, they thought that was so cute. And they were all like, just joking with me every time, you know, kids, they love stuff like this, especially when they're like five and six. And I was like, hey, this is like the hat I made for myself. So um, I got that from Miranda, dude, for a buck. Oh, and I got these guys. That's what I'm saying. So basically, I want to put some of these. They have these in like green and burgundy and orange, I think, and then in a neutral color like this. I think they might have them in dark brown too. So tons of leaves. And then they have like, you can put them in as spikes. But I'm just going to put them on my table and then put the little, you know, just a little, just on top of here or like off to the side, maybe a couple of them, however. But just a little decoration for the table. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I did want to mention I recently ordered a ton of. Um, wax seal stuff remember how i just picked this up at aliexpress i had ordered this and i showed it to you guys and basically it's like a harry potter theme and they have like 50 different harry potter themed seals it's ridiculous so this one's just a hogwarts kind of basic oh it's not gonna focus anyway i just ordered the rest of them i got some unicorn ones i got some pineapple ones i got more of the sticks i got more of like these little star ones i got these little tab ones uh of the wax so i'm definitely gonna start making reviews on that I might start off with this one, but I kind of wanted to do one video including some of the different things. And I re just recently ordered those things, so it's going to be another few weeks, I'm sure. Some of them were kind of expensive, though, so they might come in faster. And then since then, I've been watching some videos just kind of waiting, you know, for these products to come. And it's so funny because I've bought things like that in the past, right? Like at Michael's or at the local stationery store, and they're like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. They want so much money. The stamp itself might be 15, 20 bucks. And literally on AliExpress, they're a dollar seventy cents. Some of them are eight or nine bucks, and those are the more expensive ones, right? And then I was watching videos, and people were like, "Oh, and you can get these from whoever you know, stationery store." And they make these, and they make the they don't make the wax sticks, and they don't make those. And it was exactly you can find them on AliExpress. And that's what bothers me, I guess, when sometimes when you know you can find something on AliExpress because it's just a Chinese company that makes it, or even like nail products. Um, there's companies that will make the powder, like the you know, for your polymer for your yeah, you know, uh, acrylic nails and then they sell it wholesale to other people like a youtube person might have their own thing that they want to sell and they have their label they buy it from that company and they sell they don't make it it's the same thing that anybody on youtube can 
go ahead and just work with that company and they it's basically the same product everyone's having the same product it's just a different label on it with you know your name or whatever um i can do that if i wanted to but obviously i'm not going to do that because I, I can't sell them enough <laughs> that uh, i would need to do that but um so it just bothers me then they're like oh you know and they make these they don't make them they don't. They just get it on something cheap like that, right? They wholesale it and then they sell it for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a stamp, which is just ridiculous. Five bucks. Make it reasonable and make people feel happy that they helped you out and you also got a little money. But no, you know, that's that's kinda why things like that really bother me, especially when it's clearly not manufactured by these people. Those wax sticks, they all look the same. And there's some other different. There's supple wax that's a cost a little more and then there's race your basic wax. But um, I'll start doing reviews on those and, you know, what's cool is that you can do things like this. You can add like these little cosmic flakes on it and kind of just rub it in and it sticks to the wax because it's kind of waxy, like sticky at the beginning. But anyway, I'm going to get off my uh, soapbox. Thanks for watching, guys. But keep an eye out for those reviews and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.